So what I wanted to do with the Chaos Oscillator Pro was use it with my MIDI keyboard. But the problem is that the MIDI keyboard spits out notes on and notes off, but to emulate the touchpad, you need to send out MIDI control bytes. So what he had to do, what I had to do was map those with this Arduino to the format that the Chaos Oscillator Pro is. So we have an input here from the keyboard, output here to the Chaos Oscillator Pro. And when I press this keys over here, it uh, makes the sounds from the mapping I made. And before we go about trying to figure out the mapping, we have to figure out what the Chaos Oscillator Pro is expecting. To do that, you can hit Shift 4 and then select here. And from here, you can select, you can edit what the MIDI is. So this global channel, if you select that, you can see that I'm on channel two. Now that's channel two in MIDI number space, but in code, that's gonna be 0x1. Because in, in the MIDI standard, you know, it starts at zero. But when you describe the MIDI channel, it starts at index of one. So then from there, you can edit it, and you can write it, save it for later. And you can also edit the control, what control bytes each of these are. So hit Shift and 4, select these pad E, pad Y, and pad T. So this one right here is the X, Y coordinates, and then this is whether it's touched or not touched. I'll shift out of that. And now I'll show you how to actually go about mapping and finding out all these midis through some sort of sniffer. All right, so if you're trying to figure out how to do the mapping, what you gotta do is you take one of these MIDI cables that goes to USB, you plug it into your keyboard. All right. Oh, dang. And then you can go over Computer, so a program called MIDI Snoop, and set your device to the one you're looking for. All right, and now when you press, say the keys, you should get a note on, and when you press the modulator slide, you'll get all these program change commands. And you can do the same thing with the Korg. If you're curious to see what it's outputting, when you do something, you can plug into the output in the back right here. And when you press things, you'll get all these control events. All right, so now that we know the mapping, we know what's sending, know what's receiving, we can look at the code and see that the only things you really have to change are those MIDI inputs to the Korg. So if you made any modifications, you gotta make them here. But say if you wanna change how the mapping goes down, it's pretty straightforward. We're just looking for some serial. When we get three bytes, we look for what the, what the bytes, what's inside the bytes, and then we send out some TX signals based on what we got. And other than that, that's all we're doing. Uh, this project was based off a other project that was using a Teensy, but I didn't have a Teensy around, and it seemed like a lot of people had a hard time getting this to work. Uh, so I just went about it with an Arduino. It's not as robust because there's no UI or anything like that. It's all like hard coding the code, but I threw it up on GitHub, so it's free to modify. Have at it.